morning boys and girls, how are you? I hope you slept well, you had a nice night, and you're ready for today's lesson. We're coming to you from Ubuntu KD Church, I am from Michelle, and I pray that you're waiting for the lesson with me. And before we begin, shall we pray? So let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you this morning. We thank you and we bless your holy name. Thank you for waking us up this morning. The Lord, we can learn more of you. The Lord, King of God, glory, even understand more about you. Receive all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen! Hey. Hey. Boys and girls, how are you? I hope you have slept well, you had a nice night, and you are ready for today's lesson. We are coming to you from Umoja KG Church. I am Teacher Michelle, and I pray that you are waiting for the lesson with me. And before we begin, shall we pray? Okay, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you this morning. We thank you and we bless your holy name. Thank you for waking us up this morning. The Lord, we can learn more of you. And Lord, King of all glory, even understand more about you. Receive all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. amen. I hope you have said amen. Now we are about to go and start praising our God and dancing for him, worshiping him, we will be right back. Hallelujah. Hi, guys. Thank you for tuning in. We want to praise the Lord. Help me welcome the team. Thank you. 
enjoyed yourself, you have praised God, you have danced, you have not broken anything in the house. Have you? I hope you have really, really praised God. But I want to ask you something. Do you know who this God is that you have praised, that you have worshipped, that you have sung for him? Do you know him? Uh, I can hear some people are trying to tell me, yes, they know him. And who is, who is this God? Can you tell me who is this God? Well, let me tell you something. God is our creator. He created the trees. He created the moon, the stars. He created the sea, the ocean, and everything, everything and anything God created. But don't forget, you are also made by God. You are part of his creation. He made you. He made me. He made us in his own image and likeness. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. God is love. You see this love of mine? God is love. He has so much love for you. He has so much love for me. And the word of God says that God so loved. I know you can finish the scripture. Yes, God is love. God loves us so very much. That is why he made you and he made me. And God is a perfect God. What do I mean by that our God is a perfect God? He does no wrong. He never ever does anything wrong. He is a perfect God. And because he's a perfect God and he loves you very, very much, he made a perfect place for you. Can you guess the name of that place? Um, what's the name of that place? It's heaven. God made heaven for you. That is a perfect place he made for you. That one day you'll go and be with him there in heaven. And heaven is a very beautiful and nice place. Let me tell you. Heaven, in heaven there is no sickness. There is nothing like headache. There is nothing like, Mommy, I feel stomachache. Mommy, my back pains. No, I feel hungry. No, heaven is a very nice place. Ah, it's filled with gold. This is, this is, a, this is my gold today. You can see, gold is a very beautiful thing. Heaven is filled with gold. It's a perfect place. You know, God made for you and he made for me. This is a gold circle. It represents God. God lives there. But let me tell you, there is something that cannot live in heaven. Who can guess? Hmm? Sin. Sin cannot live in heaven. And what is sin? What is sin? Sin is anything that we do that does not please God. That wrong thing that we do. You know, that wrong things that people do, you know, they say, can you give me example, children? Uh-huh, someone is saying lie. When, when you lie, you steal, you abuse people, you call people names. That is very wrong and it is called sin. And that one makes your heart to be dark. How many people want their hearts to be dark? You know, when your heart is dark, it's filled with sin. All manner of sin, all manner of wrong things. And let me show you some pictures as you have given me the list. You see this picture? What is this boy doing to the other one? He is pinching the other person. And he's happy and the person who is being pinched is crying. Because he's not feeling good. Because it's painful. So we should stop doing this manner of wrong. It is not, it is not nice. And also there is another boy. You can see even the face. What is he doing? He has gone to the mother handbag to take what? Candy, to take sweets. And he has not even asked for permission. And you know, as children of God, we should ask for, for, for permission when you want to do something. So the mother will wonder, who took the sweets that were in my bag? And you can even see his face. He's not happy. He knows what he's doing is wrong, isn't it? Uh-huh. And also we, we should share... This other boy has many warm clothes and the friend is cold. He's looking at the other side, pretending he's not seeing him so that he cannot help him with the warm clothes. Is that nice? 
no children. So we should be children who love each other so that we can share, we can be there for one another, we can love one another. You know, there are so many things. And you see, we were born with that nature of wanting to do things our own way. And that is not a nice nature because it makes us to be selfish. No, I want that one. That one is mine. Some don't want to share. And that is not a nice thing. I've said sin is anything you think. That which you think wrong. That which you say wrong. That which you do wrong. That is sin. And it does not make God happy. It really, really displeases God. And how many people want God to be displeased with them? Let me tell you something. Sin cannot be in heaven. And when you sin, what happens? You are punished. And because of that, let me tell you, sin separates you from God. And it keeps you from going to heaven one day. And let us be children who will want, who will want to be in heaven one day. So that we avoid this sin. So that one day we will get to be in heaven with our God. And God had a plan. God had a plan. So that our sins can be forgiven. And one day we get to be in heaven. Do you know that plan? It included Jesus Christ. And who is Jesus? Jesus is the son of God and Jesus is perfect and when he came here he lived a perfect life just like his daddy our God he lived a perfect life and Jesus loves you also very very much do you know that he loves you he loves me he loves you very very much and let me tell you something we, we all know that when you sin you are punished when you sin when you do something wrong you know you're punished. And how many people like punishment? Me, I don't like punishment. And I know you also don't like punishment. And because God is everywhere, he sees everything that we do. He looked and said, for these children to be forgiven of their sin, I will include my son. Jesus came. He said, I will willingly take their punishment. So Jesus came down. And he willingly took our punishment. Jesus was beaten. He was called names. People spat on him. And let me tell you, you see, when Jesus was being beaten, he didn't say, ah, that one is painful. I've changed my mind. No, Jesus willingly took the punishment and said, because of you, because of you, I say yes to this punishment. I will save them from their sin. So Jesus came and he became our savior. And because of his blood coming down. You see when you were beaten. He was beaten. He was beaten. Blood came down. Blood came off his body. And when you see the blood coming down. Our sins got to be forgiven. Because of what Jesus did. And because of what Jesus did. The amazing love he had for you. He said yes to 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 you. You is watching me. And he said also yes to me. Because of his amazing love. He said, I will willingly take their punishment. And because of what Jesus did, our sins are forgiven. Hallelujah. Yay! And one day we can go to be with God in our Father in heaven. But let me tell you something. You have to know that you cannot continue to sin. And Jesus is waiting for you to say that you are wrong and when you allow when you believe in Jesus and you tell God I believe in Jesus and I ask you God to forgive me of my sins do you know what happens God forgives you right away he doesn't say ah your sins are many I'm changing my mind I cannot forgive you no I will forgive you next week no 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 he forgives you right away and when you see when your sins are forgiven what happens you have a clean heart when your sins are forgiven. Your heart becomes clean. Your heart stops becoming dark heart full of sin, wrong things. Your heart now becomes clean and your sins are forgiven. You remember that scripture of John 3.16? How does it go? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. You see what it means is that God really loves us. And his only son is the one that he gives for us. 
Aha, uh -huh. we continue that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. That one is coming from John 3:16. Whoever believes, it means anybody who believes in God, anybody shall not perish, shall not be destroyed. Perishing means being destroyed completely and I don't want you to be destroyed. So when you believe in God, you will have your sins forgiven and everlasting life means life forever and ever and ever with God. Ah, it is a joyful life. But you have to pray. How many, how many children have been praying there at home? Hmm? You have been praying. Now, how many people, how many children want their sins to be forgiven? Mm-hmm. Now, you will pray there at home. I will guide you and you will pray by yourself. You will pray on your own there, where, wherever you are watching me from. And what you will say, you will say, God, I thank you for loving me. I thank you for Jesus dying on the cross for me. He came back to life. Forgive me of my sins. Help me to stop doing wrong things. And I want you to thank God for Jesus. Because Jesus will be with you forever and ever and ever and ever. And he will help you to stop doing wrong. How many people have, how many children have prayed that prayer there at home? And you've said amen. And you've said, God, help me. Today I am your child. Today I don't want to do anything wrong. I don't want sin to separate you. I don't sin to separate you with me. I don't want. I want you to be my savior. Jesus is our savior. He came to save us from our sin. God, our creator. Jesus, our savior. That is what we call salvation. Salvation simply means Jesus saving us from our Seen. Hallelujah, children. How many children have made that prayer and they are excited? You will tell your teacher so that we can continue to pray for you, so that we'll tell God to continue holding you, so that you'll not keep doing anything wrong. You'll not go and take sugar. You'll not go and lie. You'll not go and steal. You will not go and do what? Beat your friends. You will be a good child you will love one another with this love that god has loved us so very much that he gave his son for us and let me tell you god has made you his child and one day you will be in heaven with him you see that nice place that i showed you it has gold it has nice things there are no sickness there are no pain there one day we'll get to be there how many children are happy that their sins are forgiven. Uh, and you see, Jesus dying on the cross, we celebrated Easter just the other day, isn't it? That's why we celebrate Easter, because he died and he came back to life. And today we are celebrating because we have made that prayer that God has forgiven us and we are good children. We will love one another. We will continue praying for one another. Isn't it children? Hallelujah. Amen. So I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. The lesson today was just Jesus coming down to save us from our sin, the amazing love that God has for us, his children. Amen? Amen. So let us pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you for loving us and sending Jesus, your only son, to die for us. Help us to be good children. Help us not to continue doing anything wrong that will not make you happy. Be with us watch over us. We thank you for this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Until next time, children, it has been your teacher, Teacher Michelle. Bye.